we're back in the kitchen now, and Clem, you were showing us about what to do with all those leftovers mm -hmm. over the festive season. Uh, really cool hacks that you showed us just now. It's now time for us to actually create something delicious from those leftovers, sure. as well as the one you made mm -hmm. us early on. So I'm scared leaving it next to the stove, so let's swap sides. Okay. There we go. I feel a little better now. It's just, you know... Your feng shui is now back together, and it really uh, is. the world is at peace, and we can all just, you know, make a delicious food. Awesome. So, it's... I've got some beautiful, beautiful bright snook now. Oh. A lot of times during the festive season, especially if you're living along the coast, you get a braai of some type of fish sometime okay. this holiday. But even if you're not, this recipe works so well with chicken and with pulled beef. Pulled beef all the rage right now. Yummy. Love me some pulled beef. Because everyone had like pulled pork and then like someone was like, oh, what else can I make that's pulled? And then like beef. Okay, so here's, this, here's the situation. So you had this awesome braai yesterday, but you forgot to invite that one cousin. Awkward. It's cousin. He feels awkward, you feel awkward, so you Pitti. call him over mm. and you invite him over for lunch, but now you actually realize you spent all your money yesterday. Ooh. But you got some leftovers. Ah. So let's start. Let's start cooking, right? So we're gonna <laughs> shoot up that beautiful snook that we um, cooked with bride yesterday. Yes. And we gotta be careful with this. You gotta make sure you get all the bones out of there. Because mm -hmm. if he chokes on this, then he's really gonna think it's something personal. Yeah, so how did you get it like this then? Because I'm guessing you would have like used your hands and individually yes. like, sort of like crumbled it out, removed all the bones. Yeah. And it's also we nice. Our hands? Yeah. Yeah, you did. And also the point of this is obviously it's gonna maybe be in the fridge, which means it'll dry out slightly, which is much easier than to start flaking it. Dan! So look impressed. at me, man! Look at me! One year later. It's yeah. been a year since we've actually been in the kitchen together. Mm. It's almost our anniversary, Dan. It's our kitchenversary. Kitchenversary. Yeah. Loftiversary. Actually, I'm gonna add all of it. There we go. So, mashed potatoes go, go in there. It's super easy. Mashed potatoes are something, also you always have like the odd potato lying around the house. Mm -hmm. So just boil that real quick and just mix it in with your snook. Then I've got some caramelized onions. These are all your binding agents, I'm sure. All of it, yes. And the caramelized onions add a nice savory sweet flavor to it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to let you get your hands dirty on this one. Why not? Nah, actually tell you what. Just keep on doing this with a spoon while I chop some spring onion. Okay, cool. Cool, so spring That's a onion. That's enough task. I, <laughs> I put spring onion in everything. I love it so much. It's a lot less harsh than like normal onion. But you're probably gonna ask like, why am I using spring onion and caramelized onion? Well, because I'll tell you, spring onion adds a nice freshness to the really um, umami taste of the caramelized onion. Yes! Yes! Did you read the script before you came into the kitchen today? No, what script, Clem? That's true, we don't do this I, by script no. here. Literally, I don't think you've ever done anything by script in your no, life. No, because a minute ago we were going to make burrowls rolls. I decided, hey, you know what? Let's make this. <laughs> I've got this left over. Let me make something out of it. <laughs> Some yeah. fresh lemon juice goes in. Add that zestiness and again yep. that freshness. Because the snook is obviously really fragrant itself, and it's quite a it's quite a dominant flavor in the dish. So that nice freshness from the spring onions mm -hmm. is going to add a nice twist. Bon likes chili. Do you like chili? I do love chili. Yes. Okay, two whole chilies going in. Hope our guests like it hot. When I say love, I mean like slow down there, tiger. Okay. There we go. That's great. Super easy. So we're using not a lot of ingredients, but you notice the ingredients we are using are quite pungent. A lot of mm. flavor in them. Mm -hmm. So you don't need as many ingredients to like make this one dish. You're so, it's, it's quite easy, actually. Mm -hmm. So Dan, now, I'm here we go. Busted. All you're going to do is take a little bit in your hands. Just we go. And make shape any type of patty. We're not going to use little ring molds. This mm. is literally just putting it together on your own. So what you can do, basically, is obviously make yourself one of the... Oh, and you're dipping it in? Coconut. But look, go on. Yeah, I was going to say is like you can make that into like a little fish cake itself, like a, a dish on its own, like a little side dish, like a tapas style mm -hmm. thing. Or you can make like a fish burger patty out of that. You absolutely Just go buy can. some buns and make a fish burger patty out of your snook, your, 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 your leftover snook that you've made. I think so. Is so great. Binding agent so as well? Even though we made some breadcrumbs earlier, a great alternative is, and it's a little healthy as well, mm. is to coat them in desiccated coconut. Yeah, because we have all of that lying over, lying out after our dishes, right? Obviously, I don't yes. know if you always have, yes. on every dish I always have like desic desiccated coconut <laughs> lying around, you know? And what's really great is the desiccated coconut gives it a nice nutty flavor. Yes. I'm ignoring everything you just said. Cool, and it's sweet enough. It's also got a nice sweet flavor it to it, so when you really do cool. grill it off, I'm sure it'll give that nice flavor. Yeah, so I'm just gonna pop them into a pan, super easy, and add a little bit of coconut oil in the pan. Okay. And I know that's a leftover because the guys at home actually don't know how many jars of coconut oil we go through on the show. Probably quite a lot, but Jeannie uses it for Genie. legs. Yes. Jeannie sure. uses mm. it. Yeah. Jeannie uses I've it. I've done it once or twice too when you have like really dry hands, just rub a bit of coconut oil <laughs> in, okay? And that's simple like that. Those go on a grill and then. Yes. Super easy. So you let them cook for about a minute aside, you turn them over. And you end up getting these beautiful, beautiful fish cakes okay. that are done in no time at all. We literally made this while we're standing here. Lovely. After two minutes, beautifully cooked, with a squeeze of lemon, everybody's happy, everybody's eating, and you saved your relationship with your cousin. Oh, lovely, I like that. All the taste and no waste. 
Just like that on Whoa. Afternoon Express. All the details on how we made our fish cakes are available on our website, afternoonexpress.co.za. There's a recipe there, there's a shopping list there, and all the details on how to put this delicious dish together. And make sure you guys play with it, enjoy some of your own flavors, throw some things in there, whatever you've got left over, make it fun, make it simple. Cooking is all about the joy, isn't it?